Good morning, Responsible Day Traders. What is up? Today is Monday, January 10th, 2022. I'm Lindsay Duff, and this is Responsible Day Trading. So it's Monday. You know what that means. It is time to check out that week, see what we got going on, and just kind of run through the day. All right, let's go ahead and go over to the news. We're going to go to market news. And so here you can go to responsibledaytrading.com slash calendar and market news if you are looking to check that out. So here we go, guys. We can see that we have nothing today, but tomorrow we do have a 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. 11 a.m. is not our typical time. So just being aware that 11 a.m. central time that we may see a little bit of extra movement. Wednesday, we got some pre-market and right after market opens. Thursday is all pre-market and so is Friday. All right, we're going to go ahead and check out that market, even though I have just had a major sneeze attack. We're going to be all good. So let's go ahead and start off with that daily chart. Let me bring that sucker up. Here we go. Ooh, look what happened. Okay, so we pulled back in a couple of times, right? Maybe we're going to see a bit of an M pivot happen this time, or maybe we'll see something more along the lines of this, where we slow down as we're reaching that bottom Bollinger Band. But let me back it up just a little bit and talk a little bit more about what's happened here. And I'm going to close this up some so we can really just be focused on what is happening right in here. I know it may get a little confusing with those other charts in the background, but this is where we're looking right in here. We want to pay attention to this area and up here as well. Okay. So what we're going to talk about is what exactly happened right here. Okay. So let's look at what happened right here. We talked about last week about how the market pulled up previously and pushed down and we were anticipating maybe a little bit of that happening here. And sure enough, what happened? The market pulled back up, maybe a tiny little reversal bar, leading much, much lower in the MACDs as the price pushed up higher and it pulled it back to the EMAs. Now, currently it has a look of strength coming to the downside. We saw that happening right here. This bar pushed down a little bit more, closed a little bit higher up in the bar and then moved back up. So honestly, we might be expecting something kind of similar to that. Now, what's going to really help be determining the determining factor for me is this MACD right here. If it rolls off of this bottom Bollinger Band, and let me just spread this out so we can really see what's happening. Right now it's broken through the bottom Bollinger Band, but we can't anticipate that to be the end all be all because it's just the beginning of the day and it's 645 in the morning. The market doesn't open for um, another hour and 45 minutes. So uh, what happens is we may see this pull back in and roll off this bottom Bollinger Band, kind of similar to what we're seeing right in here. Okay. But we want to see that happen. Then we want to see this MACD, you know, throughout the week push up inside of the Bollinger Bands, something similar to this, or maybe even cross that top Bollinger Band to anticipate this to come up and make new highs, right? You can see here, we didn't cross the top Bollinger Band. We equaled the previous high here. We crossed the top Bollinger Band. We made a new high. So it'll be the kind of same thought process with that. Now put the shoe on the other foot and let's talk about if this does push down. If this continues pushing down, we're going to have a couple of places where we'd look for, you know, the, the target first one being right in here as it's just right at this area of these previous pullbacks and where it might stop and push back up or the next being in here where we can see possibly even pulling down just a little bit lower towards that EMA. Anyway, it goes, if we stay above this last major pivot, then we're going to still continue to anticipate the overall to continue up. But if we start to break below this last major pivot here, and now we do have pivots here, but this is our last big major pivot. If we get back below there, then we're going to see a lot more movement to the downside. So let's go ahead and look more and focus more on today and what we may be seeing. So let's go ahead and move to the 28,657. Ooh, what does a 28,657 say? 28,657 currently is saying more down. 
We pulled back into the EMA several times, bounced off of it. We pushed down with some strength, not only in the price, but in the MACDs. So currently the MACDs are outside of the Bollinger Bands. We are above this last little pivot area. So right now we do have some major divergence going on. And what do I mean by that? We can see that the price has pulled down lower. MACDs are really, really struggling to get back below this last major pivot. And we can see this is a very extreme area where this last major pivot is. So it may take some work to get down there, but we got plenty that could happen along the way. So right now we got a bit of divergence. We do have BB showing strength and outside. So we'd have to see a reason for it to slow down, roll inside and pull back up for us to really anticipate this to push back up from here. Or what we may see is just these BBs taken off to the downside, maybe pulling back to the top Bollinger Band and pushing down for more to come down and equal this previous pivot point. My anticipations will be something kind of along the lines of this. We're gonna wanna see some more white BBs to really anticipate the, the turnaround to happen. So just getting lower and pushing down lower doesn't mean that the turnaround or just being higher, even though it's pushing down. And what I mean by higher is here, uh, we can anticipate the pullback, but we don't anticipate the turnaround until we start to see white BBs, okay? So let's go ahead and zero in just a little bit more on the immediate. So we look right here and close this up just a little bit so we can just really be focused on what's happening here. We can see the BBs pushing down with quite a bit of strength here. Bars are long, they're closing at the bottom, of each bar. So right now, the direction is definitely down. The strength is trying to push down. What we notice as we're looking through the smaller charts as we're starting to kind of refine and define what's happening, you can see we've slowed down just a little bit here. We haven't gotten inside, so we definitely could see this push down a little bit more, but it is telling us on our 233 and right here that and our 1597 that this might slow down just a little bit, pull back before it goes down because we do have some major, major divergence happening right here on the 233 as the MACDs are leaving much, much, much higher and the price has pushed down lower. So the immediate is trying to push back up. The overall is definitely down. Um, so, you know, it does conflict a little bit with the bigger tick charts that says the overall is up and the immediate is down. But what we're really looking at, most of us here, is a much smaller picture because the smaller picture allows us to have smaller risk. If we're looking at these big charts and trying to trade off of them, then we need to have our risk way back here, which as you can see is about 50 points in risk. And we don't want to be pulling that off, right? We want to be able to minimize the risk. If we were to have gotten in back here, we could see we'd only have a couple of points in risk. So that's why we minimize the charts. We look to the smaller charts to really um, minimize the risk while we're looking at those larger charts to see that bigger gain. Okay, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. That's my Monday morning rundown. Um, it does look like it's still trying to push down from here. So we got a little bit of a pullback and it's still pushing down. So the overall is definitely down. I would keep those eyes open because it's been struggling to go down. So it may not go down too far, but heck, you know, it's the beginning of the year. We notice if we look back through the last few years, around you know january to march we tend to see a big pullback uh in in the activity of our market which is usually followed by a nice big push up after so you know it doesn't really matter whether the market is going up or down as long as we're paying attention and we're making sure we're on the right side of things so that makes a big difference. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. I hope that everybody has a wonderful week. I cannot promise that I'll be putting out much trading this week. Uh, I've just got tons and tons of projects and uh, I've actually added some more to the mix. So 
you know, I don't want to say that uh, it's not a priority to record these videos, but there's so many more things that we can give to you besides just watching me trade to help you increase your trading potential. So we're going to continue to work on those and really just watch our students grow and hope that you choose to be a part of it. So thank you for being here. And as always, you know that I look forward to catching you on the profitable side. Thank you.